Good morning, my strong, resilient people of the Shield Wall Nation. This is going to be your daily report. In fact, this daily report is going to be 100% about COVID. Now, this this report um, has a video that I, I put in, I'll be commenting on, and it comes out of Illinois, and it should engage you, it should make you think, maybe anger you a little bit, frustrate you, piss you off, whatever it may be, it will probably do that because it did it to me. And I've seen videos where where different professionals mention something like this, but this is the first one I've actually seen that came out by an, a government governing official. So here you go. I'll, I'll play the video and I'll stop it briefly to kind of put my own little comments here and there. So um, of what I think that's what I see is going on in that video. But also, please, please like this video, subscribe to this channel. And of course, let's have a little bit of discussion down below. So comment down below. And well, let's get right to this video. So first, let's do our little overview as we do about the uh, the COVID facts here, the numbers. <clears throat> Global cases are 12,350,120 with active cases of 4,631,378. Global deaths, 555,894. Global recoveries, 7,162,848. U.S. cases, 3,211,268 with 1,660,277 active cases. U.S. deaths, 135,646 with USA recoveries of 1,415,395. Um, let's see... There's a little mishap that happened in Massachusetts where a uh, man in Massachusetts had a gun pulled on him for not wearing a mask. First off, if he's not wearing a mask, it's none of your damn business. It's either the police or the business operator, not yours. You're not no you're you're not police, you're not anything. Don't do it. Don't be stupid. Um it says elsewhere people have been arrested confronted by citizens and refuse to entry to stores as you've probably seen on some videos um some people cannot wear masks due to health issues others choose to make a statement about individual freedom and there's others that also make a statement the fact that they cannot conceal carry and wear a mask at the same time because that is a federal offense um <clears throat> it says the uh, Texas in Texas Brooks County officials are willing to prosecute people who test positive and refuse to self isolate. According to a notice appearing in public after testing positive, except to get medical care can lead to an arrest. So there's that. So <clears throat> now I'm going to be showing you a video and in that video, we're going to go kind of break it up a little bit. I'll commentate on some things and then continue watching a bit. And then if I find something interesting that I want to comment on, then I'll comment on that. So here's a video that is in the state of Illinois. Earlier this week, the state reported the death of a teenager in Cook County. Are you familiar with this case? If so, is this the state's first teenage death? And can you tell us if the teenager in question had underlying conditions? Okay, so you've seen that little part. Now we're actually going to get a definition of how they define dying by COVID. It's going to be interesting. Listen and watch. I don't have that information at my uh, disposal at this time. I know um, we have had people uh, of all age groups die. I just want to be clear in terms of the definition of people. Okay. Now we heard that a little bit now. Here comes the definition of death by COVID. Of COVID. So the case definition is, is very simplistic. It means at the time of death, um, it, it was a COVID positive diagnosis. So no matter how you die, 
you will be labeled as a COVID death. That's right. No matter how you die, you will be labeled as a COVID death. You could get hit by a truck. You can get hit by a train. You could be shot, stabbed, mauled by a bear. UFO can come down and crush you. As long as you have tested for COVID and died, no matter what, you're a COVID death. Well, that means that if you were in hospice and had already been given, you know, a few weeks to live, and then you also were found to have COVID, that would be counted as a COVID death. Okay, there it was. Now she's actually going to make it much more simple for us. That if, um, technically, if even if you died of a clear alternate cause, but you had COVID at the same time, it's still listed as a COVID death. So, so there you have it. You heard her say that no matter what your death is, what actual cause of death is, if you tested positive for COVID, either before death or after death, you're still a COVID death. Now you're kind of, now this should make you think, are the numbers that we hear every day honest? Should make you think that, are the actual cases, active cases, truthful? Because if you test positive for the, the, the COVID or coronavirus, is a family of viruses. This is not uh, COVID nineteen. Isn't the first coronavirus. So if you test positive for the other coronaviruses, you are automatically positive for the stats that we're putting out for the COVID nineteen. Imagine that. Imagine that. It, it it really makes you. It should make you think. How bad are they lying to us? They're obviously lying to us. They're fluffing up their numbers to make it seem much worse than what it is. And it's it should make you wonder why it's happening now. First off, first, first weird thing, it's happening exactly 100 years after the Spanish flu. And it's happening during election year. All this chaos that's going on in the world right now it's happening during election year. Why does so much chaos happen during election year? Now, why are we being held in our own houses? If we get arrested, if we go out without a mask on, or if we go out and there's greater numbers than we're supposed to be, or if we go out and do this, this, and that, we're not inside our houses, we get arrested. But people can go out and protest. In fact, people can protest, have a protest about not wearing masks. Exercising their rights. But us as individual people cannot exercise our rights. This is not, this is not about keeping us safe. It's about, you got to see it by now, it's about keeping us under control. Seeing how far they can go and what they can do with their tactics to do so. Right? Should make you think. And I hope, I hope seeing that video uh, kind of opened your eyes a little bit that these, these COVID deaths aren't 100% accurate. There's a video I seen months, uh, about a month and a half, two months ago, a doctor saying, if their cause of death is heart attack, why am I forced to put death by COVID? Right? In autopsy reports, why are the, the, the morticians forced to put COVID down? Why are doctors getting paid extra for COVID patients? It's all a numbers game. I wish we could all see the real numbers. And if we saw the real numbers, it probably wouldn't be even a fraction of the severity it really is. So truly, how many people are dying by COVID? So 
So there you have it, folks. There you have it. The truth is slowly coming out. And I hope I hope people people see this. So once again, please like, subscribe, and let's comment down below. Let's have a conversation. If you find things, let me know, and then I can make another video about it if, if necessary. So everyone, take care of yourself and take care of your family. Take care of your neighbors. Have a good day.